on. Now start. Okay, guys, I've been asked to do a video on how I did this thing here. Um, it's very simple. This is my first video, so please bear with me. I don't really have a large vase, so I'm going to use a small, little tiny vase, which will just kind of give you the gist of the idea of what I've done. This are the beads that I've used. You can get them, and they will look like this. They come in many different colors. I don't know if that's close enough. Can you see those? Or you can also get them that are already made. They're already hydrated. All you do is put them in water, leave them set for, um, I don't know, a couple hours or so until they, they swell up. They will swell up, and this is what they will look like. They're little bouncy little balls. So what I did was I just went ahead and filled my little jar up here. And hopefully this will be enough. I've got a few more hydrated if I don't need to. <clears throat> now this you'll have to experiment with because it depends on the size and, and all that good stuff. Next thing I'll do is I'll just, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill this up with water. And the reason I say that you have to experiment with, with, with this is because you have to have enough water in the vase. The bubbles eventually will go away. But you have to have enough bubbles in the vase that these... Enough water. Or enough water, excuse me, thank you. That when you put it, whatever you're going to put in there, He's upside it down. will <laughs> basically, um, it will hold it in place. Now, I don't really have the proper tools for this because I use this for my big ones, but this is a small hole. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick this in there. And like I said, it's not really the proper tool for this one. Oh, you stick your so hand in there big. too. But I'm going to get that in there, okay? And as you can see, it floats around. Now, the only problem is when I say with the water, because if you have too much water in it, then naturally the balls aren't going to be heavy enough in there to hold whatever object are that you are putting in there. All right, she wants to play around with it. I'm only just putting this item in just to give you, give you an idea. All right. Or you could, you know, whatever, stick some seashells in there. Um, use whatever you can use just to use your fingers, use a stick, whatever, just to kind of place things in there where you want them. And they just kind of just sit in there. And it's simple as that. And again, you want to continue to watch because eventually these balls will dry out. And when they do dry out, they're going to become small. So you want to kind of keep an eye on it, make sure, you, you know, the water does evaporate eventually. Um, then basically... These balls, when you do get them, are reusable. So if you are finished, you get tired of looking at it, dump it out, get rid of the water, the beads will dry out, You'll, they'll come into small balls like this again, and you can reuse them over and over again. Not only can you use them for this, you can also put flowers in them, live flowers, um, will also serve as water. So as you can see on the front of the container, there's many different uses for these. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, just let me know.